feel like a hot dog all of a sudden. <laughs> Sid. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Welcome back to BT. It did look good. 756 Delicioso. Delicioso. There at the Sportsnet Grill mm -hmm. at the Marriott. Meredith Shaw, Sid Sixero here with you. Speaking of food, if you go to Pearson today or tomorrow or maybe the day after that or an undisclosed period of time, you may notice that the food options on the flight or in and around Pearson at certain restaurants are just a little leaner than normal. That's because the catering staff for many airlines are now officially on strike, as we've been reporting all morning long. More than 800 workers, represented by Teamsters with Gate Gourmet, went on strike at midnight last night. The workers provide meals, drinks, and other in-flight supplies to several airlines across North America. Air Canada is likely to be the most affected, the strike will impact upwards of 250 flights per day. That's roughly 25% of flights leaving Pearson on a daily basis. Look, we've, we've been through the gamut, Mayor, on things that can go wrong yeah. at an airport yeah. that will annoy the most patient individual. Where does I can't get food on this flight rank on things that would annoy the normal person? I mean, I think, look, food and beverage on a flight has changed a little bit over the years. You know, you used to get a little bit more with your actual ticket, you know, in terms of food and service. So a lot of this stuff is extra, and I don't think necessarily people are doing it as much. I mean, as someone who's on a flight, you know, I might get the little cheese and crackers thing. That's my favorite little snack, and maybe a little... <laughs> you know, <laughs> beverage, uh, if I'm on vacation. Every, every but, time on a flight or just vacation flights? Uh, vacation, <laughs> vacation flights. Okay. Because I, I had a stretch where I, li I did a little when I was traveling a bit Maybe more. Maybe I had one on the way when we were uh, doing Disney. Maybe I had a little nothing something. Wrong with that. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. But no, I mean, this, this generally they're saying is going to affect shorter haul flights, so hopefully that means, you know, you can have some preparation. But really, you know, the union's fighting for wages. For sure. I mean, wages that were, they say, limited uh, during the pandemic because the airlines were under such troubling times, and now they're kind of saying, hey, uh, this isn't fair for us. So I, 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 I see where things are, are coming from, but certainly as flyers and as customers of, of these airlines, we got to know what's happening so that we can prepare. You know, especially I think if you're traveling with children, sure. uh, you know, you may you got to you got to be prepared. Yeah. I, I don't I know. Just, what do you do? Do you have a little something on, on the flight? Yeah, a little or you something. Bring, do you bring things? No, you, no I'm, not a, I'm not. I'm not bring the like no. the egg salad sandwich onto the flight. Oh, person thank goodness! And just annihilate the, the, the entire cabin. Like no, I'm no. not that person. I will. I'm. I'm big on the I, I, a big sit down meal before I get on. Yeah. Because I don't. I don't show up eight minutes before the flight. Like, I do give myself some time. <laughs> and, and the luxury of giving yourself some time, because folks like me are mocked constantly, the advantage is you get to sit down, maybe a tall beverage. Sure. Have yourself, like, some of the snacks at the Sports Tank Grill. Yeah. Like, some delicious food. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. and with, in, in, with peace of mind and with time. And then you go on the flight and just you sleep it off and take a nap. Yeah. I'd like to know if, if, if the prices for tickets are now going to be cut because of this for a little bit. I'm guessing probably not. But I think, considering all the things travelers do have to deal with on a daily basis, and the fact that we do have rights that are never looked after in terms of flying and being in an airport and delays and yada, yada, yada. And getting off the flight and deplaning before it even takes off. and All the things. We could be here for an hour. All the things. I'd like to think in a perfect world, if I now can't get food on a flight, give me a little break. I don't think that's going to happen, but maybe, maybe in a perfect world, it does. Uh,